Hello everyone, I'm Rahayu Mahazam. Today, I'm sharing a bit of my family tradition with you. There is a dessert dish that we always have during special occasions and it's known as Bubo Merah Bubo Puti. First ingredient is glutinous rice. We need 350 grams of glutinous rice. We use 350 grams of red sugar, 250 grams of white sugar, a pinch of salt, coconut milk, and some pandan leaf. So you think you need two pieces of these. I will start with the glutinous rice. I've soaked this for about an hour. So you just remove the water and put it in a pot together with some fresh water. I think you just need enough to just cover the glutinous rice. So I've already put the pandan leaves. I just need to add a pinch of salt. And I'm just going to cover this up and let it boil for a while. You just need to keep watch so that it doesn't burn. But otherwise, I think this is going to take a few minutes. So you see the texture has changed. It's like a porridge now. So I've been stirring this also every once in a while. You don't want it to stick to the saucepan that you're using so just keep stirring at this juncture I'm going to add my white sugar it's a lot of sugar so this is not a dish that you eat every day it's a dish for special occasions and it is to be shared with a lot of people and I'm also at this juncture going to add my coconut milk so it looks like a porridge at this juncture this one you've just got to leave it for a few more minutes to kind of uh, dry out a little bit so it's a bit thicker. Oh, I forgot to tell you about one more ingredient that my mom said I must put in this dish. And that is happiness. She says that when you cook, you need to feel happy, you need to feel good and positive. Otherwise, the food won't taste good. Because this dish is, you have a little bit of white, a little bit of red. I'm going to take one third of this and put it aside because this is the white part. And then I'm going to add the red sugar. This is going to make this lovely orangey red colour. I'm going to mix that in. Keep stirring it for a few more minutes until it thickens again. Once it's thickened, the dish is ready. What I really like about this dish is because it's always prepared during special occasions, typically birthdays. And what she likes to do is to lay out the red portions and write out our names with the white portion. So it's a customised, special Bubo Mira Bubo Puti for whoever is celebrating the birthday that day. Anyway, we're just waiting for this to thicken a bit and it'll be ready to serve. So this is now ready and I'm going to plate it. I'm going to put the red portion first at the bottom. So nice and orange. This is not necessarily a serving for one person. It's very sweet so you don't eat much of it. Just a little bit. I'm going to take the white portion and put it on the top. So I guess if you're creative, you could try to make a heart shape or flowers. <laughs> I was about three or four years old because this is something that I remembered having since I was very, very young. There are a few other dishes that I have um, at home that really brings back very fond memories. So there are some which um, my mum does or cook during special occasions. One of her favourite dishes that she cooks is Ayam Masak Merah. Um, I also remember my grandmother's misiam because I think that's one of a kind. Very hard for me to find elsewhere. Always think about the usual dishes that we have at home. One of my favourite dishes that my mum cooks is um, asam rebus nanas. And it's a very simple dish, but it's always um, very refreshing every time um, I come home. And it's so simple, but it's, it always brings me back to how the family come together with simple pleasures in life. The tradition that's so important in my family is photo taking. I know it's very simple, but my mom makes it a very important point for us to always take a record. Every raya, every birthday, you know, the family must be all put together, uh, lined up, and a photo is taken of them. Years later, when we browse through the photo albums, it's always very pleasant and always brings back wonderful memories for the family. I think it is important to uphold our traditions, to keep some of the little things that each family has 
and I think these are things that we can keep as a legacy for young ones because in different families you may have different recipes, different things that you do on different occasions and these add to the really wonderful collection of memories that a person would have about their family and this forms our heritage and also share it with everyone. Perhaps some of us um, also share similar experiences. I think this will help us bond as a community. To learn more recipes, join us on the next episode of Selera Warisan.